Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. It makes building a website super easy. Hello, welcome to Central Park in Frisco, Texas. Do you think New York City would have something this disturbing? So yes, today we are exploring Frisco, Texas, a city that I've never been to, and I'm so pumped, probably most pumped, for the National Video Game Museum that opened up in 2016, and it just exists to preserve video games, in case you don't know how a, uh, a museum works. But I'm juiced. I wanted to make sure I didn't learn too much about it before I got there, just to make it a little exciting, but I know that I want to get a selfie with Mega Man. So I thought I'd like to start today's adventure the way I like to start every adventure of every day and go to a coffee shop unique to the city and try to wake the hell up. Going to a skate park first thing and just throwing my carcass all over the place uh, is usually a pretty difficult way to start off the day. So coffee is the better way. Just a medium iced coffee with almond milk, like an Americana. Is that Americana? Yes, please. So I use this time to do a little bit of writing, planning, doodling, basically just escape into a fantasy world and stay there for the rest of the day. My brain pretty much exists in a, <laughs> like just in a state of fantasy and I wouldn't have it any other way. In terms of reading, I've been going through iShield 21. It's a football manga and the artwork is ridiculous. It's done by the same guy who does One Punch Man and if you have seen that manga, if you haven't, I would recommend it because it is like mind-blowing artwork. It doesn't make any sense. I feel like they should replace all artwork in museums with just manga panels. But also, this coffee shop is called Kona Reserve. Apparently, Kona is one of the most expensive coffee beans you can find in the world. It's from Hawaii, cultivated on the slopes of Hualalai and Mauna Loa in the north and south Kona districts of the big islands of Hawaii. I've never had it, and right now, I'm about to take a sip. So let's see if it's worth, I, wait, how much was it? I didn't check the price. I'm not trying to flex, I just forgot to. Whoa. It feels very, very strong. Like that is like a, that was like a punch to the gut. Cause I asked for almond milk, I think, but it really, I mean, there's clearly almond milk. You can see that it's a little tinted, but it's very strong. It tastes very good. I love it. And this background is, Legit, I bet I look like a psycho in the corner filming with my camera. And in terms of drawing, uh, I'm gonna start rolling out a comic series soon of my little character guy. So I'm kind of just practicing different positions and you know, trying to figure out their dimensions and how to alter them as best as I can. So that's from spending time doodling. Um, yeah, genuinely my favorite way to start off the day before pain immenses. I'm not quite a manga artist good yet, but it's fun. <laughs> right now we are going to the biggest skate park in North Texas. And even after skateboarding for 20 years, I still get a little intimidated when a skate park is 47,000 square feet. And it's not just because of the people at the park or the amount of people. It's because I get so overwhelmed. I don't know what to actually skate. And sometimes I get overly excited and I go so hard that I end up having to sleep for the rest of the day And I really want to hang out with Mario and Mega Man So I'm getting way too excited way too fast I can already feel it rising up my adrenaline because this park is ridiculous It's so beautiful and I counted about 20 different obstacles So the goal for me just so you can get a good showcase of the entire park is to try to do a trick on every single one So 20 obstacles 20 tricks Let's just get started <laughs> No big surprise, that park was amazingly fun. It's the biggest park up here, but the only issue with parks this 
massive. It's so weird to complain. This is the most first world issue ever, but a lot of people will come out and it makes it a little difficult to film at parks like this. And you have to be very conscious if you are like the older, better skateboarder, you have to watch out because other people kind of won't do that. And it's really easy to collide and get injured. And actually I would say that the two falls that I got that were kind of severe, came because I was trying to keep an eye out. And because of that distraction, I wasn't paying attention to my board enough and I got injured. Once my adrenaline wears off, I'll get back to you on the wrist. I'm definitely struggling a bit. And now a word from our sponsor, Squarespace. The best part of Squarespace is how easy it is. Recently, I actually updated my website. As you can see, I've added, uh, I've simplified the process. You can see that you can just scroll down and check out the pictures and then you click the top right tab and then you can go to the store and you can buy something, but everything is sold out, so never mind. If you click follow, you'll see my Instagram and YouTube. So it's, it's like an amazing center place for whatever you're trying to build and do. Every time I do a Squarespace shout out, from now on, I will be adding something new to my website so you can just see how easy it is. This took like 20 minutes. It's really easy to transfer domains. I actually had to get progressdaily.com transferred to me and it took again like two seconds. I'll actually be starting an email campaign on September 22nd, kind of far from now, but it's the easiest way to engage with your audience and keep that loyal fan base there because every time you send out an email, they get it. There's no algorithm to disrupt the flow of content being given. If you're someone who likes to write and you want to start a blog and kind of share that way, you can actually have your own comment section on your website so people can just comment and be like, hey man, this is great, da 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 da. Uh, so it's like your own little social media world via your own website. As your business grows and you get busier and busier, you're gonna need an appointment scheduling. And on this website, you can actually have it to where you can send people your schedule and they can book like a time that's good for you. Uh, but usually if you're busy like me and you like to skate a lot, you're like, I'm pretty much busy 24 seven, but you can set that up if you're, uh, once you're growing. So go to squarespace.com to start your free trial. And if you're ready to launch, uh, go to either the link in the description down below or squarespace.com slash John Hill to get 10% off your first purchase or domain. Thank you, Squarespace. Thank you, you. Uh, now enjoy the rest of the video. I love food more than skateboarding. <laughs> and every time I go to a new city, I try to find a restaurant that is only exclusive to that city. And luckily the place that I looked up was also a place that someone at the skate park recommended to me. He was like, yo, I know you're vegan. Have you tried Jeff's Vegan? But it closes at three. So we have 27 minutes to try to get there, eat there, that's it. I don't know why I said it as if I had something else to say, because I did not. Can I get the protein ball? It was really quiet inside of the restaurant. It also closes in 20 minutes and there was like one group of people in there. So I didn't really want to film this with them in there, but I actually got the protein ball. I think that's what it's called. The guy at the skate park recommended it. And without even looking at what it was at all, as long as it's vegan friendly, I was like, yo. And uh, that's exactly what they look like. They look like little protein balls. Let's just eat the whole thing at once, I guess. Oh my God. It tastes almost exactly like you think it would. I've been eating like fried Asian tofu for five years now. And this is usually, I mean, what it tastes like. I enjoy most vegan Asian food, but a lot of it does taste very similar to the next. It's basically like, like fried tofu. That's what it tastes like. Try it with some rice, of course. Mmm, it's a little sweeter than it usually is. That's good, that's really good. I think my favorite part about the restaurant was the fact that it was called Jeff's Vegan and it's an Asian restaurant. It makes me feel like it's the same way that I got my name where my Asian mother was just like, Google, what is the most common American name that there is? John, Jeff. I like to think that we're one and the same, me and Jeff. Usually white rice, I actually like perfectly on its own, but I have to at least try it with the sauce that's included with the fried stuff. It's delicious. I still probably prefer white rice on its own, always. That's really good. It does not taste healthy, but it is really good. Mmm. Mmm. This is really nice. I'm enjoying this moment right now. Nice weather, in the shade, eating vegan Chinese food. Maybe a little too much, because my belly's like, why? So far, we've done four amazing things. Central Park, skate park, vegan food, and coffee shop, and I, 
feel like I've actually had a pretty good experience in this city so far. And usually I don't share all of this stuff. I just show the skate park section. But truth be told, I enjoy so many things as much as I enjoy skateboarding. And I feel like people just like seeing the adventure. When I watch videos like this, I do want to see the all-encompassing city. I don't want to see just the highlight. I want to see every little bit they have to do with it because that's what I would want to do if I went to a city like this. So I shared this today and yeah, I probably will share it for now on because it is fun to showcase. But we're about to pull up to the National Museum right now and we have an hour and 45 minutes, which I think is more than enough time to hang out with my boy, Mario, Sonic, Luigi, Mega Man, that's my boy. We have just arrived and I've been to enough museum type places to know for a fact that they're not gonna let me bring in my heavy duty camera. So we're switching to iPhone mode. What's up bird? impressions uh, there's a lot more smaller areas than I thought there was gonna be I mean there's so many around here but the lighting in a lot of the places is atrocious but even still I feel like this place is better served if you actually come with someone so coming with my fiance probably would have made this a much more fun experience because we would just sit in here for hours and just play games and I would beat her at everything no offense That was a wonderful day. Not gonna lie, I'm such a loser that I FaceTimed Sarah while I was in there, just so I felt like I was hanging out with her. And I was like, I'm just gonna come back here when I'm with someone, even though I did get a warm up. I got to look at all the cool things and it was wonderful. I love that at 30, I am more reassured in the idea of living in a fantasy than ever. I understand that life is kind of just a big game and you can just do whatever you want, play as much as you want and try to excel in those things because nowadays we can, we can build careers out of this wonky world and I just think that's like the coolest thing in existence. Stay tuned every week for a new video on this channel. I really do hope your face enjoyed this. I will see you next time. Take care, progress daily, and keep killing it!